Hello, my dear students and the rest of the learners. Welcome for this tutorial in which I'm speaking about performing software maintenance. My name is Mehmet M, or you can simply call me Mehmet Swap. Software maintenance is that the process of modifying the software after its deployment by either updating or upgrading it so that it is able to meet the current or emergent user needs. The main goal of software maintenance is to keep the software system working correctly, efficiently, and securely in order to ensure that it continues to meet the user's needs. It is therefore important for the purposes of fixing bugs, improving its overall performance, removing outdated functions, ensuring that it's safe and scalable or adopted to a changing environment. It is therefore done to improve either its overall performance or correcting any errors, faults or bugs that might have emerged during its use so that it can be able to adopt to the changing times. It helps to upgrade, modify, or update the software to meet the current needs of the user. The danger of not maintaining your software after its installation is that it might get outdated and thus either start malfunctioning, be unable to solve your emergent needs or expose your data into threats. It is therefore important that you analyze your software regularly and update it constantly. Therefore, due to the emerging user needs and the change of system requirements due to the changes in the hardware in use, the software developers need to be in a constant check of the results being produced from the execution of the software, any emergent or emerging challenges in its use, and any short defaults that the software may have so as to improve it and make it competitive and relevant. Software maintenance is therefore a continuous process that is carried out throughout the life of a software. It is thus important to have a well-defined maintenance process in place, which includes testing and validation, version control, and communication with the concerned stakeholders. Let's now look at what we call applying software upgrades and module patches. After the software has been installed on your computer, it may need to be updated in order to fix any bugs that may be found. This process of updating or upgrading can be done installing software patches. A module or a software patch is usually a piece of software code that is applied in a software after it has already been delivered, installed, and commenced application so as to correct any bugs that it might have or that might be, to, uh, might be found within it. In the case the number of patches to be implemented in a software after release at once are several, this may lead to an update to the version of the program. The software upgrades and the patches are normally available for free from the software developer's website and can be freely downloaded and installed. They can also be installed automatically if you enable automatic operating system and software updates when connected to the internet. You may be prompted for the update and sometimes you may be requested by the software to restart the machine for the software upgrade to take place. So what are the maintenance procedures? How do you perform maintenance? It is always important that you make use of the appropriate strategies and techniques to maintain software in order to keep it running for a long time while meeting the user's needs. Otherwise, the users may reject it 
and shift to other software alternatives that they may feel are better for meeting their needs. Usually, a software may need to undergo either one or more types of maintenance throughout its life cycle. Generally, maintenance can be categorized into either proactive or reactive types, whereby proactive maintenance involves taking preventive measures to avoid problems from occurring, while reactive maintenance deals with addressing problems that have already occurred. Therefore, the four main types of software maintenance that you may perform on your software, either one at a time or based on the scenario that you are dealing with, are corrective. This is the process of identifying bugs, defects, or faults in logic, code, or design in a software during its application and taking action to rectify them immediately they have been realized. Therefore, corrective maintenance aims at eliminating and fixing bugs or issues identified by the end users. It is usually implemented when the software does not function properly or when users face issues with the software while in application. It can be done frequently in form of updates. It is thus and thus when done when the user realizes that the software he or she is using is not giving him or her the expected results. It is also called reactive maintenance. As software or as software developers, it is always important that you take a step to rectify any bugs that you might realize in a software even after you have already sold it instead of waiting for the customers to raise complaints. The second type of maintenance that you can take is what we call preventative maintenance. Preventative maintenance is a systematic and regular daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually ETC inspection of the software in order to ensure that it is always in good working order and meeting the user's needs as they emerge. It helps cap any forthcoming vulnerabilities or vulnerabilities before they have occurred and to safeguard it for the future. I repeat, it helps cap any forthcoming vulnerabilities before they have occurred and to safeguard it for the future. Therefore, it is carried out to ensure that the software is ready to handle any upcoming challenges, thus enabling it to keep working as desired and for, long, for as long as possible by always updating it with the future in mind. This is done by making the necessary changes in the respective modules, upgrading the software by adding new modules with the new functionalities, as well as making the necessary overall changes in the functioning of the software to be ready for the future needs of the users. It is carried out to detect and collect latent faults in the software before they become effective faults. It also makes the software easier to scale or maintain your code and handle your legacy system. With that type of maintenance, or maintenance procedure that you can perform is what we call perfective maintenance. This is the process of modifying all the software elements, abilities and the functionalities in a software in order to enhance the software operations and performance, thus improving its receptiveness and usability. This process is taken based on the user's requests to improve the software in order to meet the user's needs according to their request, thus making it more relevant, more relevant to the specific user. It involves altering its current functionality by improving it, removing features that the user feels that he or she does not need anymore, 
or inserting new features or functions that the user wants. It is thus carried out to improve the software performance or maintainability. Its focus is on functional enhancements in order to improve user experience. The fourth type of maintenance that you can perform is what we call adaptive maintenance. This is a process of conversion of your software system to keep it compatible with the changing user needs and technical evolution. It is thus, or it thus entails making changes to the technology that is implemented by the, your software, such as operating system changes, hardware changes, as well as other changes, including change of your policies, terms and conditions of use, and other rules in relation to your software. Its main focus is on the software frameworks and is made in response to new operating systems, new hardware or platforms in order to retain its continuity or keep the software usable in a changing or a changed environment. This maintenance enables the software to meet the new user and legal requirements and continue to run well. The following is therefore a simplified set of steps or a process that you can follow in order to maintain your software based on the type of maintenance and the type of software that you are dealing with. Number one is identification. This is determining the part of the software that needs to be modified, either based on the reports generated by the users or based on the identification made by the software developer. The issues to be addressed are identified, solutions are proposed and documented. Number two, or second step is undertaking analysis. This is an in-depth process of checking the practicality and the feasibility of each suggested modification so as to have a clear understanding of the specific modification required, as well as understanding the effects that such a change may have either to the software developer and or to the user. It also includes validated changes or input where the cost of modification is also estimated. This process can result to a requirement specification. Authorization to apply modifications is also obtained. The third step is design. A new framework for the intended changes or modifications is determined according to the result of the analysis that is using of the already developed software requirements specification. Software requirements specification are clearly articulated statements of what the modification or the change must be able to do in order to satisfy the needs and the requirements of the organization or of the user, how that change is to be achieved, as well as outlining the specific requirements to implement the change. The fourth step is implementation. The suggested modifications to the software are now made based on the new software framework that has been developed and designed. So, the required constant specifications are crafted and added to the existing software. Here, the software code, data and configuration is updated, compiled and deployed into the software. The fifth step is testing. The modified software, that is implementation of constant specifications is executed, commencing with the affected modules and then the whole system in order to see whether it is running well and performing the intended task as expected. It determines if any further changes or additions are required in the new model of the software. The sixth step is acceptance testing. A third party end users run the modified software in order to see whether the implemented specifications are working well and are able to cater for the user's needs as mentioned in the modification request. 
The seventh step is delivery and deployment. Once the testing of the modified software is cleared and the third party end users have given the software developers a note signaling that the modifications have been successful, the modified software is now delivered to the primary end users and installed either as an update that is installing only the modified, the modified module or as a whole that is installing the whole software. In order to be able to maintain your software effectively, you need to develop a clear maintenance strategy, which may include documentation and using quality assurance, or what we call QA. What is documentation? This is ensuring that you have written information about how the code in the software works, solutions or remedies to potential problems that might be experienced among other details in relation to each part of the software. This makes it easier for other programmers or technicians to know where a problem might be in the software and know how to approach the problem. Software documentation is the writing of support materials explaining how the software can be used by users, how the software can be installed by operators, or how the software can be modified by the programmers. A documentation is therefore a document showing what the software does and it can work under what conditions. What about using quality assurance or QA? QA is used to make sure that the software is developed correctly and it gives insight to the programmers or software developers when making changes to the software. And with that, my dear students and the rest of the learners, we have come to the end of this tutorial. And this also marks the end of the six part series of presentations or tutorials in the unit installing computer software. Congratulations for learning about the performing software maintenance. You can access other videos in the computer software installation, as well as other computer or ICT videos by clicking or tapping on MLSWAP ICT YouTube channel below this video. To subscribe to the channel, tap on subscribe button below this video in YouTube if it's not currently reading as subscribed. For any further correspondence, kindly write it to us through the email emilyswap at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening to me and God bless.